Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And today uh, we discuss a different form of data representation in binary. Okay. We've seen the basics of the binary system. We've seen its conversion. And today we just uh, just with a little change. And the basics of this is that how to represent negative numbers in binary. Okay. We've already seen the positive. Today we deal with the negative. All right. So, so the topic is what? It's data representation. All right. Now, now the data can be represented in binary in two major ways. Two major ways, okay? Uh, so, so let's say this is the first and the second. So the first is uh, through its magnitude, all right? Through its magnitude. And the second is in the complement form. So these are the two major ways we can represent a data in binary, all right? These two are further divided into two subcategories, and the magnitude can be divided into two, and the complement can be divided into two. All right, now what are these two? So the magnitude, in magnitude we have unsigned magnitude and then we have signed magnitude. And similarly in the complement, we have a once complement and we have a twos complement. So these are the different ways. So basically we have four different ways to represent data in binary, all right? Now for unsigned, for unsigned, we only can represent positive binary numbers. Positive numbers, all right? In the sign, we can represent both positive and negative. All right, now in the ones and the twos complement form, we can also represent both the positive and negative forms. Positive and negative forms, all right? Now, we, we, we discuss them one by one, okay? So, uh, in all the four representations, positive number, positive number is represented in the same way. This is an important point, okay? In all four representations, positive number is represented in the same way. I hope this green color is visible, okay? Uh, and, and how is that? So, so we know how is that, all right? For the positive numbers, how to represent it binary, all right? Now for the negative, let's say first we deal with the unsigned magnitude method. The first method, that is the unsigned method. So for unsigned, you do what? Positive is represented in the same way, and the negative has had a little change, all right? The negative cannot be represented. So, so if we have, uh, well, as we discussed previously, we have a plus six, all right? So, so what would be its, uh, its representation? It would be a one, one, zero in three bits. It requires a minimum three bits, all right? If we, if we have if we have a, a plus 10 so it would be a 1010 zero, zero. now this requires a four bits but if we have a negative 6 negative 6 so this cannot be represented in this unsigned mother all right if we have a negative 10 this cannot be represented in this mother because this is only for positive only for positive so that is uh, the basic we've seen already, okay? So we, we come to the second, that is, that is the, uh, the, the sine magnitude method, all right? Now here we have a different sign. Now in case of sine, we have a sine bit. We have a sine bit. Sine bit, which is placed at the most significant bit position, MSB. 
a light and it is zero if the if the number is positive and it is one if it's a negative number zero if it's a positive number and, and it's one if this is a negative number all right now we see how so so taking the same example <coughs> sorry we have we have you you take the positive first okay so for plus six we know that we have a one one zero all right for minus six you do what for minus six you have the same number one one zero you placed a one at the most significant bit position all right like that now this is a plus six so you place a zero at the most significant bit position okay now you do what you uh, uh, in the same uh, we discussed so, so a plus ten so plus ten is a one zero one zero and a minus ten in the same way you write it as a one zero one zero for, for, for positive number, you do what? You place a 0 at the most significant bit position. For a minus 10, you place a 1 at the most significant bit position. Now, this represents a minus 10, and this represents a plus 10, right? So, this is the sign bit is used in this case, all right? The range. The range of this, ma uh, this sign magnitude is what? Uh, so, so, where should I write it? Uh, let's say I remove... I remove this exam. Uh, oh, sorry, I can't remove. So let's say I remove this unsigned. Okay. So the range is negative two to the power n minus one to a positive two to the power n minus one. Okay. This is what. This is the range of the sine magnitude. Now, what does this mean? So, negative 2, if, say, if I say this is uh, a, a 4 bit representation, so 2 to the power 8, uh, uh, no, and we have a minus 1 over here as well. So, 2 to the power uh, this minus 1, and we have a minus 1 here as well. So, so, if I say the number of bits, this n is the number of bits, all right? n is the number of bits, all right? Now, if this n is 8, if this n is 3, sorry, if this n is 3, is, uh, if, let's say this n is 4, so we have a 2 to the power 4 minus 1 is a 3, so uh, 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. So we can represent a number ranging from negative 7 to plus 7 using this method, all right? If the number of bits are 4. Okay. All right. Now the next, the next we have is the, uh, we can represent it in, in the complement form, okay? in the complement form let's say we, i want to represent the number in its ones complement form so how do i do it in its ones complement you just simply write the number simply write the number uh, uh, uh write the number all right and then take its it, its one complement and take its ones complement so this one's complement would, would represent what it would represent the the uh, the negative of that number let's say i have a plus six and you know a plus six is is, is a one one zero so the negative six represented by this method and you know how to take the one's complement just by inverting the bit so it would be a zero zero one all right All right. If you want to represent it in more than uh, three bits, if you want to represent it in more than three bits, what they do, you just add ones to it in the negative form. Because over here in the positive, we have zeros. All right. Now this six, I could write it as a zero, 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 one, one, zero. This doesn't matter the number of zeros. Okay. This is a plus six. So, so in the same way, the minus six could be represented as zero, zero, one is the basic. And then you can add as many ones as you like to the left. So on. Because we, we complemented it over here, all right? And you, you need, uh, it depends on the number of bits that you need. The, the basic way we, we represent six, the minimum number of bits that we need are three to represent six, all right? And the maximum could be as many as you want. Just add zeros in the positive form, in the negative, add one because you're complementing that, all right? Let's say I, I need to I need to represent a positive nine. So a positive nine represented by a one zero zero one. You know how. So 
So the negative 9 would be how it would be represented by the 1's complement. You just invert the bits, so it would be a 0, 1, 1, 0. Now the minimum number of bits required to represent 9 are these 4. And you can add as many zeros as you want to the left in the positive, and the negative as many as you want to add 1's to that. Now in case of 0, in case of 0, what, what do we have a positive 0? Do we have a negative 0? So in this form, we have... In the ones complement, we have a positive zero, we have a negative zero. And how is that? So, a positive zero, this positive zero is represented, let's say, in a four bits form, zero, 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 zero. And the negative zero, so you take the complement, you take the ones complement, and this is a one, 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 one. All right, so we have the positive zero and the negative zero in in the ones complement form. Okay, so that's about the ones complement in the range. Range is the same as that of the, uh, the sine magnitude method range, uh, which is negative two to the power n minus one minus one to uh, positive two to the power n minus one minus one. All right, that's the same as the previous. Now, the last that remains is the two's complement. How to represent a number, a negative number in two's complement form? So to represent, to represent a number in two complement form, write the positive number. Write the positive number and take its two's complement. Okay, so so how what does this mean now? Let's say let's say I need I need the negative of six in two's complement form. I need the negative of six in binary. So you do what? You write the positive number. You take the two's complement of plus six. Plus six is what? It's a one one zero. Plus six is one one zero in binary. Now one's complement. You know how to take the two's complement, right? So, so for one's complement, you do what? You invert the bits. It becomes a zero, zero, one. For for two's complement, uh, you you add one to it. You add a one to it. So so a one one would give you a one zero. We have one carry. One zero is a one, and zero is a zero. So so this is the two's complement, and this implies that this is the representation for the negative six. Negative six. Now equals zero one zero. All right. In the ones complement method, it's a different result. In the twos complement method, it has a different result. All right. In the twos complement, we have only a single zero that is the positive zero. All right. Because twos complement of zero is again the same zero. Only one zero in twos complement. All right. Okay, the range, the range in this, uh, uh, in the two's complement method is, is negative two to the power n minus one to a positive two to the power n minus one, all right? Now, if, let's say we have, we have a four bit number, we have the n is equal to four, so we can represent numbers from negative eight to plus seven with this, present, with this uh, representation. Well, there's two's complement representation, all right? Now, you're given, you're given a negative number, you're given a negative number, and you ask to convert it into positive, and you said that it's in two's complement form. The negative number is in the two's complement form. So you do what? You just take the two's complement of the negative, and you get a positive. You're given a number in one's complement form, you said it's a negative, and you're asked to convert it into a positive. So you do what? You just simply take the one's complement, and that's the positive number, all right? So that is how we represent negative numbers or sign magnitude in in binary okay and that's all for today from my side so see you uh, very soon in the next lecture inshallah uh, till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you and do subscribe to the youtube channel and follow us on facebook as well goodbye